so uh, I did one video. Um, I don't know if I'll do a video per button. Maybe I should do a video per button. Anyway, I did a I did video for the detect button. Right next to it is the limit button. What does the limit button do? Okay, so we're going to be taking a look at that today. So let's just kind of show you quickly what limits are and then uh, why you might want to use them. Okay. All right, so let's say hypothetically you're going to be building these uh, filters and you're going to be building them and selling them on eBay. Okay. And you figure you can get uh, 30 bucks for each one, cost you $10 in parts, you make 20 bucks on each one, but you have to adjust them or you have to make sure that they are going to work. Okay, so you might want to, you might want to test them. And you could just kind of eyeball it, but it'd be nice if you actually had test limits. Well, that's what limits are. They're, they're, they're test limits for manufacturing. So these blue lines here are the limits. This is the upper limit and the lower limit. So you, your, your curve, your, your low pass filter has to fit within those. If it goes below or it goes above, it will, uh, it will fail. So, um, I am going to pretend there's a short between these two. You hear that? It's giving me a warning that there was some kind of problem. So let me do it on screen here. I'm going to create a short. And you can see there that we're starting to we're starting to go outside of the bounds and we're getting a, a sound. You can turn that sound on and off. If you push limits, you can go into setup and you can say um, buzzer on and off. OK, um, and so the limits button gets you to this menu. You can have an upper limit and you can have a lower limit. So you can turn the, the upper limit off and just have a lower limit or the same with the uh, just have an upper limit, no lower limit, or you can have two, both limits, right? And then there's a start and stop. So if you have it in stop, it won't warn you when there's a, uh, it won't warn, warn you then when you go out of bounds, okay? But if you have the test on, um, then we'll go back into the uh, fail condition again, okay? So uh, how do you set up the limits? Um, you can actually do it from the front panel, which is nice. So you can set the upper limit which is limit one, and you can have the lower limit, which is limit two. You can say edit limit one, and here is the limits. This is the limit one table, and this is the limit two table. So you can see that it's a point to point table, and you can just draw lines as well, but point to point I find more um, flexible. So you can say point one's at four megahertz, that's the beginning of this trace here, it's at zero dBm. Uh, then we go up to 9.74. That's a, kind of a straight line up there. Then we go down to 9.14 uh, uh, megahertz. Okay, and um, so the way that you that you enter the points is uh, this is all going to be on screen here. Let me zoom in it just a little bit more. Okay, so we can add a point, or we can select a point. Um, and then for each point, you can enter the X value and the Y value, the X axis and the amplitude. Okay. So we could, uh, say we want to select a point and you can use the wheel. You can say, okay, here's the different points. Let's say we want to modify the, uh, 19 megahertz one. That's number four. Go here to four. Now we have the X axis. Now we can move, we can move the X axis in and out, right? So we can change that. So let's say we want to set it to 20 megahertz and then we can change the up and down. Uh, we can go down and we can go up. So we can change, uh, we can change everything. We can also change how it interpolates between points. We can have logarithmic interpolation or linear interpolation. I think you can see kind of straightened out up here. This is kind of logarithmic kind of makes it swoopy and linear makes it more square. So I kind of like the log. And uh, so we can set, we can set the limits here. You can say, okay, that, that looks pretty good. I want, I want that. And then uh, you can do the same thing for adding points. You can say, uh, I need to add, I need to add one more point. You can add a point and, and do the things. You can delete points. You can go next and you can say, delete a point uh, or delete all the points and start over. Um, and then you can save them. So you can save them to a uh, thumb drive. I have uh, a lower limit here and an upper limit that I've saved. Um, let's see, what else do you need to know? Um, bup, 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 bup. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Um, 
one thing that I have noticed though is let's say that you uh, just have uh, no averaging on maybe every once in a while the noise will be just above your pass line let's I think it's happening probably right around in here and so you probably want a little bit of averaging on your trace okay and so here I have average five I could probably even set that down to average of two and, and that would be even uh, faster because you want fast fast detection but you want a little bit of averaging so you're not smashing into your limits all the time let's say average three is nice okay and then when we go to uh, when we go to change thing it's it's much faster on the uptake all right I don't think there's much else to say um, maybe I'll give you a quick example of starting from scratch uh, when you go into limits um, We'll turn the upper limit off. We'll just we'll just do lower limit. We'll edit lower limit and we'll say uh, uh, delete all. So now you have you have nothing down in there. And you go back. You say uh, we're going to edit limit two. We're going to add a point. It, it's 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 added one uh, one more. It, it gives you one in the beginning. We've added one. We've added one down here. And we can bring it over. And you can see that we're we're bringing over a line. Yeah, that's kind of that's kind of annoying that we have it beeping all the time now. Uh, let's see here next. Uh, set up. No buzzer. Okay, no buzzer. There we go. All right, go back. We'll edit. Edit here. All right. So now we have a line. We can set the starting point. We can say, okay, we want to we want to go to number one, and then we're going to change the uh, where number one is. We'll say, okay. Maybe we'll have it. Maybe we'll have it here at minus ten, or we can select it. We can either wheel it in, or we can just say, "Okay, we want we want minus 10. and then we want to set the second point, and we'll set the second point to to somewhere. Uh, we'll say select point two. Let's say we'll put it at uh, ten megahertz. Nope, 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 nope. If you get in trouble to hit the escape button, uh, let's see here. We'll get x axis. There we go. We want uh, 10 megahertz, and now we're here, and we can either do the straight line, the linear interpolation, or the logarithmic. We'll just do linear interpolation, and we'll set the amplitude, so now we can just draw a line anywhere we want, right? So we'll just kind of draw one here. We'll add a point. Uh, we'll put it up, say, at 20 megahertz, and then we'll just change the amplitude there, and we can just draw a straight line again. So you see, you get the idea, right? You just you just keep adding things, and if, then if you mess up, you say, "Oh, that that was too far." I can go back and I say, "Okay, 15 megahertz maybe is maybe is better," and then we can adjust the amplitude from we can adjust the amplitude from there, and you say, "Okay, that's a good that's a good one to have," and then and then you've created one. Now the funny thing is when you go to save these things, you can say setup. You can say, "Oops, I'm sorry." You can say edit limit two. You can say save, uh, which is on the next page. Save load. Um, when you save them, uh, you're saving just the bottom limit. You're saving just the lower limit. And then you have to go save just the upper limit. You can't save combinations. You can't save upper limit and lower limit into the same file. Um, so anyway, there you go. Uh, quick introduction to limits. Don't know if anybody's going to use them or not, but if you need them, there they are. And uh, if you're building some kind of production unit, you should have limits.